Hello everyone, my name is Mr. EGX and I'm back with another Rome 2 replay cast and this time we have another extraordinary one. This is not an ordinary online battle. Uh, this is the semi-final between Zeal Swordsmith and Zeal Xanthopus of the All Kind Tournament organized by Xanthopus. And um, today we have uh, Swordsmith as Sparta and Xanthopus as Syracuse. I did participate in this tournament but uh, Swordsmith uh, kicked my ass basically. I picked um, the Mesegete I believe and he picked Parthia and I made some serious micro mistakes and he was definitely on his game and he played very well. So uh, I was kicked out in the second round uh, but here we have the semi-finals and uh, this should be a very interesting matchup. We have two Greek factions which is always interesting to see as long as they don't bring too many hoplites because hoplite warfare is not much fun as probably most of you would agree. It just takes too long to grind down and it just, it just depends on quality of um, of troops essentially it doesn't cavalry charges don't do much the hoplites and they just take ages to finish uh, fighting so hopefully we won't see too many hoplites though with Sparta we're definitely gonna see some an interesting map here as you can see I like this choice um, but uh, yeah so let's have a look at some of the army compositions here so let's have a look at Sparta first we have some Rhodian slingers we have two Rhodian slingers um, uh, okay, I'm being told that I'm going to have to leave if there's some lag here, so hopefully there won't be any lag. But we have two Helot Slingers, Hello Javelinmen, two Rhodians, uh, two Tarantine Cav, uh, two Heroes, two Spartans, two Royals, uh, two Periokoi, so these will be good at the throwing javs, and uh, some Skirmish or Cavalry. So I actually quite like this army because you have a lot of tankiness with the Royal Spartans, um, you have the Spartan Hoplites are decent for their price and you also have the Heroes of Sparta which are also fantastic for their price capped at 2 conveniently. The Sesame Cavalry won't do much but they will be good at stopping cavalry I guess so this is a pretty solid build actually I quite like it uh, especially if um, Xanthobus can't get to the skirmishers of Swordsmith here. Um, so let's have a look at the Syracusan army we have two militia ho wait. Two militia hoplites, yeah, very good because they're, they're very heavy spear infantry, very nice for the price. Um, we have uh, thorax hoplites here, uh, two of them. We have two light hoplites, which I'm not a huge fan of them because they're light spear infantry. And I, 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 I'm just not a big fan. Uh, we have two ordinary hoplites, um, and honestly, we have one, two picked hoplites here. Hmm. Yeah, no, this is going to be a pretty good matchup. I was a little bit concerned for Xanthi here, but um, now when I have a look at the, the, the Hoplite numbers here, picked Hoplites are pretty good, and we have uh, some Hippaeus Lanchers which could uh, deliver some very decisive charges here if uh, Swordsmith is not careful. These Thorax Hoplites will do really well against Spartan Hoplites. I think, I think they beat Spartan Hoplites, interestingly enough, which they really shouldn't, but they do. Uh, these militia Hoplites will be useful. The veterans will do well. Um, but the Royal Spartans are really tanky. You know, I'm gonna. I, ca I don't think I can call it at this stage. I think that both players have some very interesting armies. Uh, the skirmish component is definitely in the favor of Swordsmith with his Rhodians and his Helots, and uh, there's no response in the skirmish department from Xanthopus here. So he's gonna have to push that. And with hoplites, that can be a little bit dangerous. They do have armor, but um, they will be very slow. So. Xanthopus is going to have to push the issue, so it all depends on how well, I think in terms of the infantry department they're pretty well matched up, but so it's, it's essentially going to depend on whether Xanthopus can use these guys well, and if Swordsmith can use his uh, skirmishing component well. So this seems like a pretty interesting battle, I think that's what this is going to boil down to, though we'll see exactly what happens to the players. Um, I'm just going to wish them good luck, have fun. And, um, yeah, wait for the players to get ready. Um, so, yeah, as we're waiting, I can tell you a little bit about the battle that I played against um, Swordsmith. So, he played exceptionally well, but I think what I found with this rule set is uh, there's something particularly problematic about it for uh, step factions, and that's you're forced to use, especially because I chose uh, the Masagi, that you're forced to use a lot of very expensive units um, because you literally cannot fill up um, the 20 out of 20 um, space essentially because um, you just do not have that many units available so you're forced to use a lot of very expensive units so unless if you go to the hor for the horse skirmishers you're forced to use the elite horse archers you're forced to use the elite uh, cavalry and as a result I had 15 units and I just was out of my element honestly with, um, 
without uh, more numbers and the cheap cavalry to throw away. So I was forced to use very expensive cavalry to do things in the beginning of a game which uh, the step, which step factions have to do, which is to get rid of mid shield units and to kill skirmish. And uh, basically there was too much on the line. My elite units were, um, were, um, were being risked essentially too early on and um, combined with some serious blunders that I made and um, some uh, great gameplay from um, Swordsmith. Um, I lost, unfortunately. But oh well, we have some interesting games coming here ahead of us. Uh, I did want to cast this tournament because, uh, well, A, I enjoy casting, but uh, B, this actually seemed like a really interesting concept and it really um, mixes up the gameplay, the fact that you can only have two of each unit. So um, kudos to Xanthi for thinking this one up. I don't know if you got it from someone else, but uh, it is an interesting concept. Um, very interesting formation from Xanthippus. Um, you'd think you'd be more spread out given the skirmish um, of swordsmith, especially because obviously if you have a really dense formation you'll take a lot more damage from skirmishing units. So um, I'm sure he has some sort of a plan here, or maybe he's going to um, loosen up, yeah he's, he's going to do it right now, he's going to uh, spread out his units so he doesn't take much skirmish fire. And um, okay. So it looks like we don't have too much lag, so I'm not going to be asked to leave, which is great. Um, so let's see how the battle goes down. So we have some Tarantine Cavalry here on the flanks, harassing, no doubt. These Tarantine Cavalry are turning their backs for some reason. I don't think they have Parthian... Do they have Parthian Show? I'm not... I think they do have Parthian Show, actually. Interesting. Okay, I, I forgot about that. But yeah, so these Tarantine Cavalry are just being a bit of a nuisance here. Light top lights. We are on the Ultra setting for uh, unit sizes. So hopefully there won't be too much lag. But yeah, I can't fast forward the replay here, unfortunately, folks. Nothing much is going on. So you're just going to have to deal with me uh, blagging on, essentially. Hello, Infamous Orange. How you doing? Um, and so yeah, we're going to see a bit of a skirmish engagement here, going down these Tarantine Cavalry. And it looks like Swordsmith is going to pull away to see if he can get maybe some support from his skirmishers here, because that would be fantastic. We see a very long line of uh, the expensive hoplites of uh, Xanthippus here. Uh, we don't see um, the three-line formation that we see with a lot of battles, or the two-line formation where you have uh, about four units and five units, or five units and four units. Um, and he is wa Swordsmith is unfortunately wasting ammo on these militia hoplites, um, which is certainly unfortunate. I don't know if this is intentional or if this is a micro-fail, but um, I really, I really wouldn't do that honestly because you don't have much to gain here. These, I don't know. I'm not a fan of this move. Um, these guys are really playing with fire here, getting very close, but at the same time, Xanthi has no skirmish support, so there's nothing he can do about it. These militia hoplites are dying, but um, I'm not sure it's worth the cost of all this ammunition just to kill some uh, militia hoplites. But um, we'll see, we'll see. And these Hello Javelinmen are getting a very nice toss down here on these Tarantine Cavalry. They're going to take a lot of damage here and they're not going to tr uh, cost trade effectively here unless these guys get a nice charge in because they have a, they are, they are, have heavy mass. Although instead we're going to see this Tarantine Cavalry and these guys, um, you know what, they're going to hold out and uh, these guys are going to push in here, these Hoplites. And unfortunately, ooh, we do see a little bit of a pull through here, I think. And I think it was against the rules, but um, I'm not sure. I'll give them the benefit of the doubt, of course. But um, unfortunately for um, Xanthippus, if he... Well, unfortunately for uh, um, Swordsmith, if he tries to pull away, he's going to take damage from this Tarantine Cavalry, and these guys are going to get in here and do some serious damage to these Tarantine Cavalry. So we also see a movement here away from the line, or at least uh, to the right flank of Swordsmith. Uh, so... Javelin's being tossed to these Italian cavalry, which is a nice idea. Looks like the main engagement is about to go down here. And we see some heroes of Sparta getting in with these uh, hoplites. So these guys are going to go very well, though I don't think they got a great charge, which is certainly unfortunate for Swordsmith. Well, seven kills, yeah, they didn't get a brilliant charge, which isn't great. And these guys are not going to get a charge in these militia hoplites. Not a big issue. I think that these uh, Spartan youths, yeah, they're probably... Well, this is a very even fight, actually. I think the Militia Hoplites will just manage to win it, though. Well, actually, no, they won't, because there's only 71 remaining. So, because of that skirmish fire we saw earlier. We see skirmish fire going down on these Tarantine Cavalry. Um, these Heroes of Sparta should win this pretty handily. These Hoplites will take a beating. We might see a rear charge here. We should be very careful with Helot Slingers here. 
because you might lose them. This charge of Royal Spartans is going to destroy this Militia Hoplite, but this does allow Xanthi to negate the charge of the Royal Spartans. So, uh, Swordsmith should be very careful, and Xanthi should be pushing in as quickly as possible, and he does seem to be doing that. Um, these Heroes of Sparta getting a nice charge on these on these uh, Thorax Hoplites, although they do seem to be losing rather quickly here. Um, we'll see. I didn't quite see the charge, so I'm not sure. We do have an engagement here of the Italian Cavalry and the Citizen Cavalry. This is going to be a pretty close fight, actually. Um, we'll see who tries to influence it yet. Yeah, we are going to see a rear charge, as I said, from these Tarantine Cavalry into the back of these Hoplites. They may rout. Hoplites don't have brilliant morale. And these Tarantine Cavalry are being chased by these ones. Uh, Xanthi is effectively tying down two units with his veteran Hoplites, which, will, which are a really good unit, but he shouldn't leave them... Um, to be uh, ganged up on uh, for too long because they will lose this decisively. Uh, yeah, the Spartan, two Spartan Hopeyes will definitely win that. He should try to push this in, maybe get, do a couple cycle charges um, would be a good idea. How's the general unit doing? The general unit is getting 121, has 121 kills, uh, killing those militia hoplites, but at the same time he didn't get a, a very great charge against those picked pick hoplites. But these picked hoplites have lost a lot of men, and Swordsmith should be very careful here. His skirmishers look like they're going to be caught by these thorax hoplites and these guys are probably going to rout it well they do have good morale but they are going into yellow now as we said the Baroico spears are intervening here to try push the edge in the favor of swordsmith but at the same time the syracusan is also sending in some hoplites and they're going to win that engagement probably uh these spartan youths are interrupting the charge of these thorax hoplites though it should be no problem uh, for them to deal with this, and uh, these guys are probably going to get caught here. If they get, try to get a charge of these Royal Spartans, it's probably not going to go brilliantly for the uh, Hippeus lands. The Royal Spartans, uh, don't underestimate them. Even even taking a charge when unbraced, they will do a lot of damage to your cavalry generally. So both players have lost a lot of HP damage from that engagement. It seems to be grinding in the favor of the general here. Picked top lights, not as good as Royal Spartans. No way in hell. Royal Spartans are a very tanky unit. So, let's see how this all goes down. This is a very interesting battle so far. And we have these two Epeus Lancers units relatively untouched. They could be important in the late game, but if um, Swordsmith has too much elite infantry left, this could be a problem for Xanthopus. Because uh, a charge into the front of uh, Good Spears was not going to go well in the favor of Epeus Lancers. And we do this, see this skirmish fire focusing down on the general here and Rhodian Slingers will very quickly take these guys down at least their HP um, and they are dropping very quickly so Xanthopus does seem to be in a little bit of trouble here he's gonna try sneak a unit right past these two engagements here to see if he can get to the skirmishers and maybe get a rear charge or two we see these uh, Spartan youths about to get charged uh, by mentioning Italian cavalry uh, if I were to guess I'd say that these guys are probably gonna win this engagement Although well, the Italian cavalry will get some kills because it's a pretty cheap unit. Um, these Hippeus Lancers have successfully got into these Hellot Slingers. We are taking some serious skirmish fire and we are going to see the Spartan Hoplites supporting them. So, so far, if I were to venture a guess, I'd say that this is definitely in the favor of uh, Swordsmith because the Hippeus Lancers have not played their role and um, Swordsmith has done a pretty good job in preserving his skirmishers, which will be super important in the late game because we have no skirmishers from Xanthopus and very little cavalry remaining. And honestly, the infantry fight is probably going in the favor of, of um, Swordsmith as well. So um, this is definitely looking like um, uh, Xanthopus is going to have some issues here. Although Royal Spartans, uh, the Royal Spartan Gen is definitely getting a nasty charge from these Hippeus Lancers, but they're not going to be around for long because of these skirmish units. These Rhodian Slingers are absolutely paying for themselves, getting some crucial kills on this general unit. This general unit is in some serious trouble. He is going to try sneak through, but it's not going to be enough. He's going to die on the way in. He's definitely not going to get. And these Hello Javelin are doing a really great job here, actually, getting some nice rear shots. These vert veteran hoplites, yeah, this is definitely going to go in the favor of Zeal Swordsmith, so very well played, clearly on his game, absolutely I got my ass handed to me from Mr. Swordsmith, so uh, well done, you're playing very well sir. And um, I'm hoping that maybe um, I can get the other semi-final replay and then cast the final so you have uh, more of a, um, uh, what's the word, uh, more of a complete picture of how this tournament is going down, we do see these Royal Spartans trying to get a rear charge, so yeah. Um, so I'm going to try to get the semi-finals and the finals for you guys, so you do have a better picture of how this tournament's gone down. It has been interesting, thanks to the rules. So uh, thanks for Xanthopus and his uh, creativity there. 
Um, these light hot plates are gonna route any second now, honestly. Well, we don't know that actually because these are two cavalry units. But yeah, the, this skirmish remaining and this cavalry remaining, so GG to both players. And um, yeah, hopefully I'll be back to bring you uh, the other semi-finals and the finals. But um, if I don't get the semi-finals, you just have the finals. You just have to deal with one semi-final here, unfortunately. But yeah, well played to both players. Uh, fun game. And um, as we saw, um, the skirmish was used very well by um, Swordsmith. And unfortunately, the cavalry got um, picked apart because of the skirmish advantage. He just couldn't find the gap to get to them because um, Swordsmith kept a lot of reserves in that battle. He had uh, a lot of cheap spears. So, um, very nice game from both players. Let's have a look here. 297 is very nice from a Royal Spartan unit. Even if this is on ultra unit size, these guys are doing okay. Uh, especially because they had a lot of, of men remaining. These Spartan Hoplites doing not brilliantly. Uh, these heroes of Spartan are not doing great, honestly, but these guys are doing pretty pretty well. These Citizen Cavalry doing okay for Citizen Cavalry. Uh, Tarantine Cavalry doing okay as well. And these Helot Slingers doing very nicely. And these Mercenary Rodians also doing nicely. Kept them for the late game, very well done there. And of course the Skirmish Cavalry, very cheap, doing a decent job. And from Xanthippus as we saw, unfortunately the Hippias Lancers were not used very well because they were sniped by these Rodian Slingers, so very well played there by Swordsmith. Uh, these Picked Hoplites not doing brilliantly, honestly the Picked Hoplite versus Horus Spartan matchup is not great. Uh, these Hoplites getting two chevrons, which is pretty nice, 165 kills is a pretty good performance from a, an ordinary Hoplite unit. These Tarantines doing okay, these veterans doing nothing special, and these Thorax doing pretty nice. So, thanks for watching, and hopefully, I'll be back with the semi finals and the finals. So, uh, see you next time.